A hireling. Can you believe it? Not much of a title, I know, but I've spent a lifetime earning it. I'll burn these rags, polish my scales, and work even harder. The next few days are critical. I can't afford any slip-ups. Magisters circle new hirelings like cliff racers. If they see any sign of weakness, they swoop in and pick the bones clean. Not yet, no. Like I said, even the smallest mistake could spell disaster. It's still too early. I can't say more. Not here, anyway. Too many listening ears. Meet me in my new quarters, all right? I have a plan that might speed things along. Welcome, Sarah. Sorry about the mess. Believe it or not, this place feels like a palace compared to my old slave quarters. With any luck, I won't stay here long. I've hatched a plan that might catapult me to the rank of house retainer. I'm glad you asked. Retrieving scrolls and relics, gathering up roots and mushrooms. That's what the Magisters expect from hirelings. Trust me when I say nothing stunts advancement like doing the expected. Real estate. Surprised. Good. Master fearith has been making secret inquiries, looking for land near Voss. Ioki knows a farmer who may be willing to sell his plot. If I purchase the deed and give it to Fearith, he might sponsor my next promotion. I know I could count on you. Here's the gold. I'll not pay a drake more than what's in that pouch. Mostly because I don't have a drake more than what's in that pouch. Ioki can provide more details. Or you can just ask around Voss yourself. Fantastic! I bought new clothes, see? And no more sharing a room with eight other people. This space belongs to me. It's mine. Best of all, I can stop hiding. I don't have to tuck my tomes under blankets or hide scrolls in my bodice. I can just be. Of course. Everyone works for the Magisters in one way or another. Hirelings occupy the lowest rung on the ladder. Aside from slaves, of course. But we can earn a wage and study in peace. We can even refuse a task if we wish. It's remarkable. I enjoyed more freedom than most, it's true. Most of the Marshborn slaves hated me for it. Called me Smokescale, Elfheart, and much, much worse. But that's all behind me now. I won. I harnessed my ambition. Served my masters with loyalty and discretion and earned my freedom. They whine like belly-sick wars and rot in chains. It doesn't get any clearer than that. I told you before, these things take time. I can't simply buy him because hirelings aren't allowed to own slaves, and I can't just set him free without jeopardizing my position in the house. This requires patience and an overabundance of caution. Archmagister or theory, None of the other Magisters would have him. Too many escape attempts. Then there's the matter of magical aptitude. The Telvanni abhor hissed magic, and make him wear suppression manacles all the time. Even when he sleeps. Doubtful. Hissed magic doesn't operate by the same rules as Telvanni spellcraft. I think that's why the Magisters hate it so much. I can't say for certain. But I doubt there's anything in Ioki's repertoire that could get him out of Sadrith Mora. From what I gather, he wants to build a new tower there. I've no idea why. Miss Distratha essentially owns Voss, and I can tell you she does not welcome intruders. If I was mad enough to antagonize one of the Magisters, it would not be Dratha. I only need him to survive long enough to sponsor me. He won't break ground on his tower anytime soon. Plus, there's a rumor that Dratha suffers from some mysterious illness. It could be fear it's doing. You never can tell with the Telvanni. Greetings. We must speak quickly. The Overseers grow nosy and suspicious. I do. 
Otheri banished me to those farms for a time. I spent 30 days in the dry box and heard many things. A salt rice farmer named Barris Rendo grumbled like a sick crocodile. His wife called Voss a backwater sty. He would sell. Why do you ask? She gave you gold? I thought... My heart told me that she gathered coin to purchase my freedom. She probably seeks to parlay this into an even greater sum. I trust her judgment, even if I do not fully understand it. Good luck, my friend. So much. Ah, another adventurer. If you've come looking for salt rice, you'll have better luck in the market. A slim harvest, you know, and we're a bit short-handed at the moment. My son, Sathan, has gone missing, you see. You haven't run into him, have you? Wouldn't I? I gave up work as a financier in Balmora for a chance at the simple life. I, I love it here, but my wife, she struggles with the agrarian life. We'd jump at the chance to leave, believe me. But not before finding our boy. Yes, in an instant. Like I said, Nineveh's practically packed her bags already. If you bring back our boy, we'll sell. Sathan's always been a thrill seeker. Probably got lost in that Daedric ruin, Esutanimus. You'll find it just east of here. It's called Esutanimus. Sathan's taken an interest in Daedric history. A waste of time, if you ask me, but I do admire his enthusiasm. We spoke about the shrine just a few days before he vanished. Apparently it venerates that monster, Molag Baal. I don't go anywhere near that place. We've got enough troubles here. Lean harvests, clumsy Telvanni wizards, my wife hen pecking me to death. No, I'll not invite some plague from the House of Troubles as well. Thank you, Suryo. Be careful, and three protect you. Someone without wings and razor sharp teeth. There's a sight for sore eyes. That's me, Sathan Rendo, explorer extraordinaire. My parents are worried. Typical. My mother barely trusts me to push a broom, let alone investigate a ruin. Of course, things could be better. I've attracted the attention of some winged twilights. Every time I try to make my escape, they swoop down on my head. Not to hurt me, mind you. They just sort of tussle my hair with their claws and push me back into the ruins cooing all the while. I think they see me as some kind of pet. A daring escape! You'll have to slay them, eh? Pity. Of course, I did see them tear an Ashlander apart as he wandered by, so I won't shed too many tears. I'll make a run for it. We can meet up west of here, towards Voss. Be careful! Ah! The Matriarch is coming! Be careful! I'll run straight back to Voss! as bad as mother. I'm not a child. Believe me, I'd rather be bagging our crop. But you know how your mother is. She won't give me a moment's peace. Fine. I just need a breather. There you are. Sorry to check up on you. I knew you had the situation well in hand, but Nineveh practically kicked me out said not to come back without Sathan. 
I'm glad I won't be going back empty-handed. Attracted the attentions? Uh, uh, never mind. I don't want to know. I'll miss this place, but Vec knows I'm not much of a farmer. I'm just glad I got to thank you in person. Your partner, Mertis, already paid me for the deed to the property. What? Oh dear. The fellow was very convincing. Caught me right before I set out to find Satham. He wasn't much of a conversationalist. Just paid me a hefty sum of gold and snatched up the deed. He set out toward Voss once we finished the sale. Here's the deed, Lady Jirissa. Good. Deal with any loose ends. Well, if it isn't my favorite loose end, time to tie it off. Back so soon? Well, you're quite the negotiator. I trust you found a suitable property outside, boss. Jinrisa. Interesting. That envious hag never misses an opportunity to stick a thumb in Feareth's eye. Listen carefully. I need you to acquire that deed as quickly as possible, before she makes it public that she's bought land near Voss. I suggest you use all available means. You can begin by searching the Adepts Hall in Tel Naga. I will warn you that the Adepts Hall is not open to outsiders. You'll need to be careful while searching for the deed so as not to raise suspicion. Jinris has offered us a chance to double our winnings. If we acquire the deed and embarrass her in the process, Feareth's bound to support my promotion. Where is that copy of the Chimar Vermidium? Did you find the deed? I'd hate to think that clumsy wizard Jinrissa outmixed me on this. Oh, no, no. I can't do it myself. It's not subtle or even polite. If a Telvani just bluntly demands this thing or that service. I'm sorry to impose once again, but could you give the deed to Master Furrith on my behalf? I know I've asked a lot, trust me, payment is forthcoming. Just offer the deed to Firith and tell him that Sun in Shadow would like his written support for elevation to the rank of retainer. Make it subtle, but not too subtle, you know. Just west of here, in a place called Hanud, Feareth values his privacy, so be wary of Atronachs and traps, and don't be surprised if he's a bit, uh, eccentric. Meet me in the Council Hall when you return. I have a very good feeling about this. More visitors? I have those Atronachs out there for a reason. Can't you see there's no room? Oh, for Vex's sake, never mind. What do you want from us? Do 
did she now? How prescient. Quite impressive, wouldn't you say, Geralt? Yes, I thought so too. I'm glad she chose to give it to me, and not that guar-faced bumbler, Jinrissa. I suppose she wants something in return? These hirelings always do. Hm? <laughs> ah, yet another social climber. How tiresome. Still, exchanging a simple endorsement for valuable property seems like quite the bargain. Very well, it's a deal. Uh, get out, be a dear, and fetch me that pen. What? Oh, fine, I'll get it myself. This should do. Now, off with you. My friends and I have pressing business. So much to do! We will review the request soon. In the meantime, continue your studies. Muth Sarah Sooth is most kind. I thank you. Ha! I recognize that swagger. Hiroth agreed to my demands, didn't he? Excellent! I ran into Councillor Angharal just a moment ago. Totally by chance, I might add. I asked her about the potential for advancement. She hedged a bit. This endorsement will make all the difference. Well, that makes two of us. I took no pleasure in spending all that coin, but as a retainer, I'll be able to double that sum before long. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a writ to deliver. Thank you again, my friend. Always, she is busy and in a hurry.